going on, everybody, man? It's your boy, Real Talk Live Sports, a.k.a. The Ghetto Stephen A. Man, and we back at it. Watch these videos from bumper to bumper. Don't forget to like, comment, and share again. Check it out, guys. Update to the first Eagles video, breaking the news that Nick Sirianni is the new head coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I told y'all I was going to do a little bit of research. Now, here we go. Here's some things that we didn't know. Now we know about Nick Sirianni. And I'm sure as the days and weeks come, we're going to learn a little bit more. But just a couple of things that I found out. Now, he's from Jamestown, New York. Um, his brother and his father both have previous head coaching experience. Um, I believe his father was the head coach at um, Southwestern. And um, his brother was the head coach at Washington and Jefferson College. So, although he personally does not have head coaching experience, he does have head coaching experience in his family. So, if he is a football brain and a football mind, um, previous uh, quarterback coach, wide receiver coach, I'm sure that a lot of what he knows he has learned from his father <clears throat> and his brother. Now, uh qualities as far as a head coach that's what we have to find out because this is his first time being a head coach now um a couple of credentials um he has some experience on the ball now <clears throat> he uh has a um, history uh, he has 52 catches for 998 yards and he has 13 touchdowns now you understand why he's the um quarterback and wide receiver coach now, with the problems that Carson Wentz is having and with the talent that Jalen Hurts have as far as being able to utilize his legs and throw the ball, he has never had that tandem before. So he has his work cut out for him. Which way will he go in a quarterback situation? Will he allow these guys to shoot it out this summer? I mean, I, I believe he should. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't give it to Hurts. He shouldn't give it to Carson Wentz. He should let these guys go out there and play and compete. And whoever earns the spot, you have the spot. So it's no hearsay. It's no, you gave him my job. No, he earned it. You know what I mean? But we're going to see what decisions that he makes moving forward because he, he has a lot of them. Now, oh, and to wrap that up. He was um, all Ohio athletic conference team in 2003 in his senior year. So just like an NFL with the teams that he has been through in his college days, he is also used to winning and he was quite the athlete as well. So he can relate to talent. You know what I mean? He can, he can spot talent. He know what it is because he, at one point he had it himself. Now, this is one thing that I found out that I can't say I ain't mad at actually you know what i'm saying he actually get brownie points for me he loves dmx if you mess with dmx not only are you a fan of hip-hop but you a fan of quality hip-hop hip-hop excuse me dmx is a legend we all know x has had his problems you know what i'm saying but that cannot tarnish his legacy as being one of the most influential artists in hip-hop history you know what i'm saying period and the fact that he loves dmx that goes a long way with me you know what i'm saying so that means a lot of the music that he's going to be hearing in that locker room on the field hey man he can relate to it because he's actually a fan of hip-hop and i salute that you dig what i'm saying so that's actually a plus and i like that um now previously i said um he has some experience at kansas city with the chargers and with the Colts. And out of that three, like I said, if he coached under Andy Reid in any capacity, he also gets branding points for that. But come to find out, when he was in Kansas City, it was under Todd Haley, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, Todd Haley. Now, he wasn't under um, Andy Reid. So I kind of got to retract that statement just a bit. But Todd Haley ain't no Andy Reid. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why Andy Reid is the, is the new head coach. Because he's Andy Reid. So, the fact that he wasn't under Andy Reid. <laughs> so, 
like I said, he was with them, he was with the Chargers, he was with the Colts. But since he was with the Colts the last three seasons, you know what I'm saying, they've been in the top 10 as far as offensive production. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Phillip Rivers, I believe, you know what I'm saying, um, he had a, you know what I'm saying, had a, had a good, had a nice little, had a nice little run, you know what I'm saying? Uh, while um, Nick Sirianni was overseeing the um, offensive duties, you know what I'm saying? So when he was the offensive coordinator, the teams that he was with was doing fairly well. Now, can he translate that and transfer that winning theory and energy to the head coaching position? We shall see. Because just like um, uh, uh, Frank, I don't want to mess up their names, man. <clears throat> Ruben Frank and Dave Zangaro. You know, I said NBC, NBC Sports Philadelphia, as they um, as they spoke about, and they also um, they also had some some good tips in reference to um, Nick Sirianni as well. But it's one thing that they didn't talk about, and I don't like the fact that they didn't talk about it. it was the simple fact of Deuce Staley. You know what I'm saying? They should have gave Deuce Staley more props because now Nick Sirianni, because he doesn't call plays, uh, Eagles fans, he doesn't call plays. So he's going to have to hire an offensive coordinator. Jim Schwartz is on a one-year hiatus. Who knows if he's going to come back? He has to hire a defensive coordinator. You know what I'm saying? So these moves are going, going to have to be done you know what I'm saying? Like quick, fast, in a hurry. Because most teams, especially if you have a new quarterback, excuse me, um, a new head coach, around this time, his staff is already, you know what I'm saying, pretty much in-house already. They don't have to go out there looking for anybody. So he has to bring in two key pieces, if not more, depending upon what he does with the rest of the staff. Now, like I said, when it comes to Deuce Staley, I believe Deuce can be a coach in this league. Now, will he choose to stay with the Philadelphia Eagles or will Nick Sirianni help him out in that decision and release him, you know what I'm saying? And he gets a new um, running back coach, who knows? But with the type of um, talent that Miles Sanders possesses, Nick Sirianni should be very excited about the running back room. So why not have a running back coach that oversees that room who knows the guys and the guys know and love and respect him, and he does a good job. So we're going to see how things shape up, you know what I'm saying, as far as um, Deuce Staley and his role and time with the Eagles. So, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of us, man, we wanted to, I wanted to see Deuce personally. I mean, some other people wanted to see this guy, wanted to see that guy. But this is who we got now, Barry. So we have to see what he brings to the table. We have to see if he is going to allow the 2021 season to just be whatever it is and possibly try to do something in 2022 because that's what Dave Zangara and uh, Ruben Frank was alluding to. And also um, Jeffrey Lurie when he had his press conference when he fired um, Doug Peterson. He also alluded to that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to come out and say we want to be trash next season 2022, though. We will be looking all right. No, they're not going to come out and say that. But when you listen to these guys, more importantly, when I listen to Jeffrey Lurie, he actually alluded to it. You know what I'm saying? So if the Eagles do not do good in 2021, hey, guys, don't be talking about, oh, he needs to be fired. He's getting up out of there. No, because it's already in Jeffrey Lurie's head that the 2021 season ain't going to be looking too good. Now, can he turn it around? Now, I don't know if they're trying to give him a back door already before the season even starts because if Nick Sirianni is anything, and this is his first year as a head coach, he should want to succeed. I don't care what obstacles you have as far as quarterback. Yeah, you got one quarterback that may be disgruntled, having issues or whatever. But like I said, you got Jalen Hurts. He's capable. He can play. He's mobile. So as far as the quarterback situation, I'm really not making a big funk about that because whether it's Carson Wentz or Jalen Hurts, they can both play. They can both do their thing when it comes to football. 
Wentz is just having some issues. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully by the time the season starts, some of these things will be ironed out. But the rest of the guys, I think his busy, excuse me, his biggest obstacle is going to be is the coaching staff that he hired. Like I said, we need an um, offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator. Who is it going to be? You know what I'm saying? Is he switching up the um, wide receivers coach? You know what I'm saying? More head out of there. So what kind of changes are going to be made? We have no idea, but we shall see. Like I said, this is breaking. Just happened hours ago. So in the days and weeks to come, I'm sure we're going to hear not only about more Eagles news, but hey, how the franchise is going to continue to evolve leading up until next season. So guys, that's what I got. Update. More to come. We shall see how things transgress in the days to come. And like I said, two weeks to come as well. So catch you guys on the next one, man. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Stay motivated. Protect yourself at all times. Guard up. Mask up. Because there's a war going on outside. And none of us are safe from it. No rolling. Peace.